back to my channel and I am so sorry for the messy background. It is ridiculous how messy it is. My uh, studio lights in my room have been broken and yeah, sorry if you can hear any birds or nature outside. But the studio lights in my room have unfortunately broken. I do need to, these called damn birds. Anyways, I unfortunately need to order new um, bulbs for my studio lights because they obviously have broken. But anyways, this is not the point of this video. I know that um, my background is messy and you can hear all sorts of uh, distractions like nature. Like this called damn bird. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a GCSE sketchbook tour and I'm really excited to make be making this video because I worked extremely hard in my sketchbook and I've never worked so hard and put so much effort into a sketchbook before. Um, I'm actually predicted in a star. I like I'm just gonna throw a disclaimer out there. Um, to get an A in GCSE art, you don't have to be like a pro artist or be necessarily that skillful. It's just that you really need to follow what they say. Cause I remember um, in a school I attended one time, I used to get like such low marks. Even if I was like really into art, I practiced art a lot. It's just that I didn't really follow what they were saying, and you just have to follow what they're saying in that so if you kind of get what I mean if you take GCSE art then you'll probably know hopefully I will get managed to get an A star I, I'm not quite sure about that but anyways I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's kind of different I will be posting more art on this channel it's just that I'm not going to be posting as much detailed art on my other channels so that's pretty much why I opened a new art channel and let's just move on to the sketch so sorry for my monkey task and my monkey nails so this is my sketchbook, it is from the works. If you're looking for an affordable sketchbook then definitely go to the works and they just sell so many affordable things. It is heaven for students over there. So this is my um, cover and it's just a cactus. I designed this myself and if you didn't know I have a sneaky obsession with cactus. Um, it is really weird. So as you go on the first page, there's this page where we're like testing stuff. Um, I think this is called etching and I try to practice this a lot but uh, etching for me is really hard. Anyways, this is just a concept sketch of the Winnie the Pooh canvas thing. Um, I love Winnie the Pooh, it's really cute. I use acrylic, um, watercolour, pencil and final pen. I have two unfinished pages, this is just a snow leopard which I drew um, freehand, which is crazy, and a panda. Next I have a lotus uh, flower design. I use watercolor in the background, and the thing I find really cute that this frog just makes it all, I love it. And then here's just a line drawing of two tigers, which was from my dad's photography. Moving on to the next page, this is just a sketch of a rubber hole. As you can tell, it's different now. I made wings and I'm going to give you a full view. This is a pencil sketch. And this is a line sketch, which I haven't even finished, which I probably won't be finishing, but it is a piece that pretty much a lot of people like. Here is just some fan art from Victor Ambrose, and here are two concept sketches of Royal Upper Hall and the Cardiff Bay. This I'm not very proud of, I'm really embarrassed to show you guys, but this is just a watercolour sketch of the La Pissarine piece in Cardiff Museum and I just wrote a written analysis related to that piece and I love Cardiff Museum, like it is so pretty and I'm so glad I live in Europe. And Another two wildlife artworks, which is actually mine. I use Copic for the background and watercolour and acrylic, I think, and just a cheap pyro, which I got from a hotel to do the leopard and pandas. Another panda drawing. I love drawing pandas. Um, this is my dad's photography, and I just turned it into my style, which is a cartoon style, and I use gouache for this piece. If you're wondering and add it like a mushroom that like how random and it says don't be a sad panda. 
now I have another look this flower and an M83 art kind of fan art and here I have a tiger which is unfinished in watercolour moving on to the next page this is just Panath Pia and here's just a written analysis about the history of Panath here is my favourite piece I've ever created. This is just a kingfisher. This is so pretty, I love it. It's probably my favourite piece ever. I really wanted to print it and make prints of that piece instead of them on Etsy, so that will be happening soon. And I also use watercolour and finally the pen and finished wolf. Two uh which you call it cheetahs, which are not in proportion, but whatever. Is there anything here? No, there's not. Here is an oil painting of puffins, which I did. It took so long for this to dry, and just an unfinished study page of flowers, which was by by Hampton Court. This is a um, picture of a snow leopard running towards a camera. I did this in watercolour, which I was really surprised how it turned out. I inked it, and I'll show you a picture of when it wasn't inked. And here is just a picture of me sitting with a duck. I don't even like this, but anyways, moving on to the next page. This is just a, I don't even know what to call this. Maybe a academic art study of shadows and anatomy, I guess, of people. I'm trying to master how to learn people and that. I don't know, but here is just a unfinished piece of Italy. This is a... I think it's in Rome somewhere. This one I don't really like. I don't really like this, so I'm gonna move on to the next page. We're really done. We're nearly done now. So here's just another unfinished page of Hampton Court Flower Show. You know those pebbles took me forever, I'm not gonna lie. And here's another anatomy kind of study. which I've been trying to master and build up a good foundation. So now here are just more figure studies and just another quick sketch of Fire of London by, I think it's, it's by London Eye, which I believe is South Kensington. Yeah, I really hope London okay at the moment. I'm really pleased to say that I'm predicted an A star, which I'm really surprised about because I, never follow what the school says and I just pretty much do my own thing in art so yeah this is my whole sketchbook tour and I know it was really short but I hope you enjoyed the tour so that was the whole sketchbook thank you so much for watching and I'm so sorry for the birds and the messy background this is probably like the worst video I've ever filmed but I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time peace Yo, peep the style and the kids checking for it. The number one question is how could you ignore it? We drop right back in the cut over basement tracks with raps that got you backing this up like rewind that.